everyone. It is another week in my fourth grade class. Welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Marily Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. Today is Monday, April 10th, 2023, and I'm coming to you at the end of the day. I've actually been delayed by the rain. It's still sort of raining, but not too heavy. It's been raining a lot since this missile, but I need to get to the car, go home for a Zoom PD. But before that, I wanted to let you know how our day went. So this morning, I started with my block one uh, in the AM. And what they were working on is the Future Worlds packet from iReady Toolbox that we started working on last week. So we did the first story and really looked at those story elements. And then after that, I introduced a writing prompt that we're going to be working with this week, which is an expository text on how humans and animals affect each other when they live in the same area. Now, I've done this prompt in the past. I do have a PowerPoint, which I'll show you eventually that will guide me through the lesson and helping the students write their essay and obviously giving them feedback so that they can make their writing stronger. So that is what we're going to be working on. Then after that, it was lunchtime. Then after lunch, I got my block two in the PM. So they were working on completing the assessment from last week. And I was trying to work with my ELL students on the side on a passage from that future world lesson. So we didn't quite finish that, but most of the students that were working on their assessment were finishing it and putting their answers in the computer. But that is what I have to share for today. So I will see you tomorrow. Hello friends. It is the end of the day Tuesday and I feel like it's been such a long day mostly because I'm still in school and it's past seven, but that's because I had a PD with teachers this afternoon after school and after a faculty meeting. And this PD dealt with reclaiming our energy, passion, and time. So it's a teacher wellness and self-care PD based on an ebook that we have access through our ASCD Activate portal. So had the first day today, and tomorrow will be the second day for the first half of the book. We're looking at chapters one through five today and tomorrow. And next week, we'll continue with the rest of the book, chapters six through 10. And I had really great positive feedback. I already put the snacks away. The teachers also ordered pizza, which was really nice. Didn't take any clips of that, but I did give them some little goodie bags, which I'll show you really quickly. So here's an example of one of the goodie bags. So they have this little notebook, make today count. They have a little quote in here. They have a flare pen, mechanical pencil, two mints, and a little clip, it's put behind this, that has like a little smiley face. There it is. So they each got this. I just have these baggies that I've had for a long time and I just put it there. Each one of them got that. I also made copies of chapters one and two, which we went over today and tomorrow they get copies for chapters three through five in case they wanted to do any note taking. And I also showed them how to access the ebook through their ASCD Activate portal. So that's what I was working on after school. But during the day for both classes, I introduced a new unit for Wonders Unit 5, Week 5, where we're looking at how we can learn about the past in order to understand the present. And I had the students look at the picture that introduced the unit, the video, we did the study blast, and I started reading the read aloud and they also started reading the shared selection so tomorrow we'll continue with that we'll do another reread of the shared selection and continue on with our unit and our day tomorrow's wednesday which is early release so let's see how it goes so that's pretty much what we've been working on so i'll see you tomorrow hello everyone welcome to the end of the day wednesday it's been a super long day again I had my PD with the teachers this afternoon after school, and then I had to jump into another PD online, just like I did on Monday. And that is the final day for that, for both PDs, actually. Next week, I will be leading another professional development, which is part two of the one I did with the teachers in my school this week. And then I also had a full day with students. It is 8.30 p.m. So I need to get ready to go home. It is dark and wet outside. It's been raining almost nonstop these past couple days, and it's going to continue raining all week. We've had tornado warnings. We had flood warnings. There's flood everywhere. So I hope my drive home won't be too bad. But just letting you know, we continued for both classes working on Wonders Unit 5, Week 5, on how learning about the past can help us understand the present. We looked back at the shared read, rediscovering or the founding of Jamestown and did the fine text evidence questions. And one of my classes that has been doing an iReady toolbox lesson 
we were working on another passage on story elements, which is a continuation from last week. And the students will continue working on that as a do now assignment tomorrow. So that is basically all that I'd like to share with you. I'll tell you a little bit more about the teacher PD that I did with the teachers tomorrow since it's so late. So I'll see you then. We are now at the end of the day, Thursday, and I just finished my Minecraft club. Next week is our last time together, and I'm planning on giving them a little pizza party to celebrate our time together. But today, I started with my block two this morning, and I updated the sticker rewards. So they all got their stickers that were due to them, including the ones that they recently got. And then we ended up going over the fine text evidence questions for the founding of Jamestown and also going over the vocabulary for that particular unit. With my block one, which I had this afternoon, we went over the same thing and they actually got to do the chronological order organizer in pairs and then they worked on the response to reading, which they will finish tomorrow. My block one actually started working on their iReady toolbox lesson or future worlds. They were revising their question answer for or their answer to the question on describing the conflict that the main character experiences and backing it up with evidence from the text. So I was able to model how we start the answer, you know, restating the question so that we start out with a topic sentence. And then I walked around helping students, giving them immediate specific feedback so that they can make sure their answer meets all the criteria that they needed to have. And I already had pre-read some of their answers. So three of those students I made into junior teachers. And basically, since they had a really good response, they went around assisting and helping their peers make sure they had all the parts that they needed to have in their answer. So students will raise their hands, so a junior teacher will go over and assist them with that. And that is an idea that I started incorporating recently from my co-teacher. She, she does that with her math students, and I love that. So as I tried it, the students seem to respond very well with it and they want to hurry up and fix their answer because they also want to be a junior teacher. During that time, our superintendent of schools came to visit along with another person from the district with him. And they had been doing some walkthroughs around the school and they actually stopped by my classroom because the other person that was with the superintendent, I believe he's the, bi the vice superintendent, his son is in my class. So we had some time there with my principal along with the superintendent and the vice superintendent. And it was a nice visit. The superintendent came up to me, shook my hand and says, it is so great to have met you in person. And he was so sweet. It was really great. So that is my day and I have to say I pushed through I made it it ended up being a great day and had to push through the fact that I was not feeling well feeling really weak and my body is achy so I am due to go home rest and relax because tomorrow is Friday and I'll let you know how it goes hello everyone we have made it to the end of the day on Friday and I just wrapped up my lesson plans for next week along with a couple of different things that I got ready for assignments for next week but we had a really good day today. In the morning, I started with my block one and what we ended up doing was finishing reading the anchor text and the students were working on writing the reading response for that passage. They were using the model from yesterday's response to reading question on the founding of Jamestown, so they were working on that. And they also got their stickers as they were you know, working on their assignments. Then I had my block two this afternoon and they also were working on their vocabulary for that unit they finished it up and they started working on groups on completing the chronology organizer for that passage so we will continue i had to move some things for next week which sometimes happens let me just give you a little preview of that so my lesson plans are right here and i already shut down my computer so i can't show you my google keep so if I remember, I'll show you next week. And here is what we're going to be working on on writing. This will be their homework. And I just created this annotated handout so that they can work on that for the anchor text. So all in all, that is what we ended up doing today. And I know I was going to give you a preview of or a little view of the PD that I did this week with teachers, but it's Friday. It's like 4.30. 438. I want to go home and I'll show you more next week. I am doing part two, which is the last five chapters of that book on Monday and Tuesday. So 
so maybe I'll let you know a little bit about it next week. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on week 31. Next week we start week 32. And yeah, there's 39 weeks of school this year, I believe. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile. Hello, dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.